Yo dudes, the Empire's pretty chill. Maybe you could like join it or something. Luke Immerse Prime here, so it's time for the next episode of my series of Old is Better Than New. And in today's video, I thought I'd cover this time, um, of course, another franchise where I personally say that Old is Better Than New for. This is a film franchise, a thriller one to be specific. And this is a franchise where, in my opinion, only one of the films is great. And in my opinion, in the best one of the franchise, nothing will ever top it. And it's also the original film of this franchise too. And this is a film which is actually one of my favourite films by the absolute legend, which is Steven Spielberg, who directed this film. And it's also what I'd regard as the greatest shark movie of all time, and also, as well, one of the best movies ever made. And, and that franchise, where in my opinion, the old is better than the new, is none other than Jaws. So, when it comes, of course, to what Jaws means to me, then, so... As you guys may probably know from my ranking video of the films, my personal favourite of all time has to definitely be the original film here, which I have as a Blu-ray steelbook here, a 4K one too. Jaws, in my opinion, is one of the greatest movies ever made, and it's one of my favourite films of all time. My opinion, the best shark movie ever, and also the, one of the best one in this franchise, no doubt. And why I think it's, it's better in all than you is because this film is a full-blown masterpiece from start to finish, with... A very likeable, great character, of course, being Police Chief Martin Brody, played by Roy Schneider, may he rest in peace. With also great supporting characters, who are also great to watch as well. And just, in my opinion, a lot of fun to see in this film. Yeah, the movie, in my opinion, is absolutely fantastic. Just, in my opinion, amazing. You've also got great supporting characters like Hooper, Quint, even Brody's wife Ellen is great in this too as well. And also the mayor, Larry Vaughan, is also great as well in this too. Just to name a few, really. I think the whole cast did a really great job in this film. And I also think it was groundbreaking the cinema as well because of the way they filmed it as well. With, of course, the sharks in, in this, of course, with animatronics, for example. Like, wow. The movie, in my opinion, holds up fantastically because of that. With lots of iconic lines too as well, which, in my opinion, are timeless. For example, we're going to need a bigger boat. And also, as, as well, smile, you son of a... Among many others, really, which are great to listen to in this film. And it's, in my opinion, a timeless masterpiece, but never ever going to get old. It's hard to believe that next year it's going to be 50 years old. It's very hard to believe because of how timeless it is. You wouldn't think it was bad at all because of how well it holds up. It also has, in my opinion, one of the greatest soundtracks of all time, composed by, who is, in my opinion, the best composer of all time, John Williams. Like, in my opinion, just incredible music to listen to. Absolutely. Really great to listen to in this, composed by John Williams, especially because the iconic theme song for Jaws, which is probably one of the most terrifying musical pieces I've ever heard in my life, just so scary. And it's all thanks to John Williams doing a phenomenal job composing the music. And the story in this film is just brilliant, in my opinion, and it's well paced throughout as well. Considering, of course, the film is over two hours, it's very well paced for, for this film because it's full of adventure, thrill, and scares, just done perfectly, in my opinion. But sadly, though, that's where, of course, the good part of Jaws ends, because here is now why I say Jaws is better in all than the new. So, as you guys know, I very strongly regard Jaws as an example of a film which did not need sequels, and I've talked about it in one of my, in my movie didn't need a sequel videos. Because, unfortunately, despite this film having a phenomenal ending where, of course, Brody defeats the shark, and no sequel baiting whatsoever at the end, it's unfortunately resulted in a four-movie franchise, which is very unfortunate. And Spielberg did not direct these sequels, and thank goodness for that, because they'd have really screwed him over if they got him to direct them, absolutely. Because, first of all, three years later, in 1978, we got the first three sequels, which was Jaws 2. Now, out of the sequels, it's probably the most tolerable out of them for me, but it's still not a good film, in my opinion, for several reasons. But... If I was thinking positives, at least, of course, some characters from the first one come back and they still play well by their actors like Roy Schneider, for example, and also, oh, as, as well, Lorraine Gary and Murray Hamilton. Although, unfortunately, when it comes to May in this film, I feel that he was made really unlikable, which I, I really hated. Like, he was nowhere near as great a character as he was in the first movie, sadly. And 
And I guess the other quality is also John Williams' music in the film as well. Most definitely, you, you can never fault John Williams' music at all. And in this film, it was great music, despite not being in, in that good of a film, really. And when it comes to this sequel, though, it's definitely, in my opinion, still not good. Because, unfortunately, like, I don't even know why they even bothered to make a sequel in the first place. Because the first one ended perfectly fine. Like, why did they do this? And this sequel, in my opinion, gets the story just wrong. Because, first of all, it makes Mary Hamilton's character, of course, Mayor Larry Vaughan, really unlike, as I just mentioned. And also, the pacing is also very sluggish as well. Because, shockingly, this film has a smaller runtime than the first film. Because it's 111 minutes, less than two hours. But it's paced slower. It feels longer than the first movie. Which isn't good at all. Practical effects are also not good either as well in the film. Because of there's many instances where you can tell the shark is animatronic. Because you can see the machine in its mouth. Which was just a very dumb move. And and also not to mention. There's also lots of, of similarities to the first film. So it's, it's basically a rehash of the first film. But a lot weaker unfortunately. So that's why I wouldn't say it's a good film per se. I just think it's more tolerable of the sequels. But it's not saying much though. Because it's not, it's not a film I'm, I'm a fan of personally. But sadly, that wasn't the worst to come for a franchise because after this, we got a third movie in 1983, which is probably one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life, which in 1983's Jaws 3D. And this film, in my opinion, was absolute trash. Because every problem that the second film had carried over into this film with more added to it. But when it comes to a cast, though, oh, um... They had, like, new characters in this film. They didn't really bring back ones from the previous movie, as far as I can recall. So that was definitely an issue, because they didn't really feel familiar, if, if you get what I mean. And it was just so dumb, as well. The whole story behind it was ridiculous. Characters I didn't even care about, either. Like, in my opinion, a lot of the characters were very annoying and insufferable. When you compare them to Brody, they're just bad characters in comparison. And... Also, as well, the practical effects, in my opinion, are dreadful. Because there's many instances where you can tell the shark is not real at all. And there's also, as well, one other thing I hate about the, the, these two films I'm covering, of course, is... I really hate how they botched up the shark as a character. Because, for some reason, the shark roars. And it's quite clear the filmmakers making this film didn't even know shark biology. Because sharks do not have vocal cords. They can't roar. So that was just absolutely ridiculous, in my opinion. Like, I remember when I saw that, I actually laughed because it was just terrible. Like, you wouldn't even actually do that, but he did. It's just ridiculous. So, yeah. This third film was beyond trash, in my opinion. One of the worst films ever made, in my opinion. Like, you call it a 3D film. What an absolute joke. Like, even in 3D, it sucks as well. Like, what? It, because it was 3D, it didn't, it didn't even help because, for me, it, it's trash. But, it's not the worst of franchise, though. Because, after this, we got a fourth movie in 1987. And if I thought George Reed was the worst, I was unfortunately wrong with this next film. Because, this is the worst of the worst for me, which is 987's... Jaws The Revenge! Oh my goodness. Right, this film absolutely sucked from start to finish. And it's one of those films where, for me, there's nothing good about it. Now, when it comes to a cast, Lauren Gary does return as Ellen Brody in this film, but sadly, her character was massacred beyond all belief. So, this film did what well, the first one didn't and brought back actors from the previous films, but we ruined them, and that, in, this, in this case, it was Lauren Gary, because Ellen in this film was just really annoying, in my opinion. I couldn't stand her at all. Like, she was just so annoying, really. Like, I don't know what happened at all. Like, in my opinion, she was absolutely wasting this film. And what's sad is she came out of retirement for this film, and all. So, I think she wasted her time, sadly, well, which really sucks. And also, if you want to ask me, of course, if Ellen's in this, where's Brody himself? Oh, yeah, guess what? Brody, in the start of the film, dies off-screen from a heart attack. So, like, that's probably one of the worst send-offs to a great protagonist I've ever seen in my life. Like... You give him an Alien 3 cliche off screen, are you joking? I want to something like before Alien 3, but it's still about cliche. But it was just so dumb how he dealt with Brody, a beloved fan favourite character who died from heart attack. Are you joking? That's not how you send off a character at all. No. Just terrible. I'm sure Watch I'd probably didn't want to come back for the more sequels because I heard he had a bad time making Jaws 2 and I can't say I blame him, but they couldn't have killed off Brody. Come on. Also, once again, the effects in this were absolutely horrendous from start to finish. 
I want to get the shark roared, even though they're not supposed to have vocal cords. Like, oh, what an absolute joke. And also, none of the cast, unfortunately, could save this film. And sadly, back to me also includes Sir Michael Caine, because he's in this film as a character who is called Hoagie. But I feel he really wasted his time in this film, because Hoagie, I just couldn't care for at all. I love Michael Caine as an actor, but he really was, unfortunately, wasted in this film, which absolutely sucks. So... And speaking of Alien 3 cliche, it also does it as well to Sean Brody as well. So, because he, he dies at the start of him, he's killed by another shark. And that made me so angry. Like, how could we do this? That made me so angry. I just couldn't believe it. Like, I was furious with this film. And one of my best friends, Twilight Spower, regarded as, as the worst movie he's ever seen. And you know what? I can't say blame him because I hate it as well. It's one of the worst ones I've ever seen as well. One of those ones where in my opinion, there's nothing good about it at all. Nothing could save the film for me. So as far as I'm concerned, guys, when it comes to a Jaws franchise, there can only be one Jaws film. Just one, as far as I'm concerned. No more, no less. Because the franchise ran its course with, of course, the sequels. And 3D and Revenge in particular were proof that they shouldn't have done any sequels. It should have been just one film done, and that's it. No more at all. After that, just one film alone. I mean, is anyone the Back to the Future Part 2 and a joke about it in the future? And Marty McFly asked how many sequels they were making. Yeah, it's because they were making these for no reason whatsoever. Because, yeah, it was a stupid idea, I must say. So, when it comes to Jaws, guys, I'll only stick to, of course, watching the original movie. It's the only one I own physically as well. I don't own a sequel physically because why should I? I will one day post review for this one because it's my first shark movie, so why not? As for sequels, I'll probably give them negative reviews. As a 3D Revenge, they'll get mega trash talks. Because they're one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. So I'll I'll show them no mercy when I do my trash talks for them. Absolutely. Because they're both trash in my opinion. Just abominable from start to finish. So guys, this is me of course. Coming next one, all is better than new. I'll say why in my opinion, Jaws is an example of a franchise where in my opinion, all is better than new strongly. So, you know the drill guys. Be sure to give this video a like. Also, be sure to vote in the comments what you guys Think of Jaws as a franchise that you always have a new follow up in the comments below. Also, be sure to join Team Pub by pressing subscribe to us in the future, and I'll see you all later.